I mean, you think about that time though, Kurt, mm-hmm. and you think about your partners that are still in prison right now. Right, yeah. And the ones that are in the ground, right. man. I mean, how does that impact you and how man, do you it, feel about that? Man, 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 it it it, it, it really messes with me for real. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Cause like I'm running to sons, I'm running to grandsons, and, yeah. and, and and the work I do every day, I do mentoring and a lot of stuff in the community. So now I'm running to somebody's son that his father might have got killed. Mm. In the early nineties or the eighties, so now all he going off what people telling him in his ear. So somebody, somebody don't like his father telling him, man, your father was hot, and he's I'm saying, man, your father wasn't hot, yeah. but you talking to a dude that didn't like your father. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Or you might they might hear all types of stuff. So I get all the time I could be eating. Somebody walking to me, man, you, you know my uncle, you know my mother. So I, they want to know stuff about him, right? Yeah. So that that kind of hurt me, right? When I'm like, damn, they need to get a change. They looking for the, the yeah. history. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shit like that affect me. Then when I see dudes that's locked up, like when I'm talking to these young guys, this is for anybody around the country. They know just for DC, like. Every dude I talk to that's in ADX, that's in Lewisburg, them dudes want to come on. They, they's like, man, I wish I would never pull the trigger. I never, I wish I would never did. I ain't met one dude. I ain't talked to one dude yet that's locked up. They got a body that's saying, so if I had to do it all over, I'd do it again. Not one. You know what I'm saying? We talking about dudes that's very aggressive. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I, mean, I don't know if they, you know the history of DC and, and the federal institution, but yeah. it's, 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 it's on some next level shit, right? So it's like, these dudes is on the phone saying, Slim man, say them young niggas, tell them they don't want to be here. This shit is about nothing. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. it's like, man, it, and, I, and when I see this stuff, even with myself, I got the Kirk Bone. The Kirk Bone shit strong when I'm in the when I'm in the club line. Yeah. It don't mean that when I'm in when I'm in a Bank of America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It don't mean that when I get that Pepco or that, that cable bill, right? Yeah. It means something I go in the club. They yeah. shout it out, my man here in the host. It, it, it sounds yeah. cute, right? But yeah. at the end of the day, it don't really hold a whole bunch of equity in it, right? Yeah. So it's like, man, that's why I be saying telling young niggas, man, like you said, it's a sad thing you look back and see dudes got 50 years, 40 years. Double life, triple life, man. The fellas that are coming back after twenty and thirty years, man, how are they when they touch back down? A lot of them, a lot of them. Fortunately, we got a city that's kind of like they re, we real they real good with interacting with the return. We call it return a citizen, okay. right? Yeah. There's a lot of programs in DC for that, right? Okay. Some of them still t- they still time warp and they still got side effects. From, from that situation, right? Yeah. So they, they they might gotta take a longer path or take another route. But a lot of the guys that's coming home, we they, we actually getting right close to them and they working with them, attaching them to other young dudes that's about to be them. Yeah. In the, in the next 20, 30 years, right? So we, they and they got a lot of money for starting businesses, for housing, so they big with that. So so a lot of guys acclimating back to society pretty good. Okay. But there's some dudes it's just who they are. You know what I'm saying? They mercenary. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They, they you know they that's going that's what they gonna do. They gonna take that all over to the grave. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's what we we have a whole nother day on that conversation. Pick up all day. Right? Yeah, yeah. When you think about Rafe or you thinking about Alpo and Wayne and you mm-hmm. see how their legends have, you know, matured over the years being there during the time and seeing that stuff with your bare eyes, mm-hmm. man, how do you feel about the stories versus the reality? The stories get crazy and crazy every time, every way, every as time go on. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And versus the reality, like it's like you look back when you live in that life, or you like you take like Rafe for example, like you end up becoming a government government informant, right? Yeah. But I, it was a time when you was living that life with those. We despise that that person. You know what I'm saying? People got their wrist tap yeah. for living that life, right? And then yeah. you look back 30, 40 years, you end up taking that lane. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. You look at Wayne, he's accused of doing all the stuff he did. I didn't witness it, but that's what they accused him of, right? Yeah. Now you talk to him now, the man talking peace. The man talking, the man very spiritual, trying to save youth and all that. So it's like, it's just amazing just to see how with how life take you and how life exactly. go on, right? So it's like, man, it's 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 a deep joint, man. And sometimes I catch myself like I'm 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 real close with God, always been. Even when I used to be beefing, I used to be close with God. Yeah. Crazy that might sound, right? But it's like, so I'll be just continuing to think. I might be driving, I might think. I might be looking at the Redskin game. They go to a timeout, man. I might just go in the bathroom and thank them. You know what I'm saying? So it's Come like, man, now. man, it's it's, it's 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 a dude just blessed, man. Yeah. A dude just blessed. When you saw Alpo recently pass, recent mm. man, I mean, what were your thoughts on that? When you were thinking after all of this time, it catches up to you or what? Man, look, man, bad behavior gonna walk you down. You know what I'm saying? Even a small bad behavior. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it's gonna walk you down. So some of his behavior that he was doing 
far as messing them girls and messing people girls. That was a big thing for him even back then. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And supposedly that supposed to track them down now, right? Mm. And even with him, like you end up turning the government informant. You was another dude that was hard on dudes that was in, that was informants, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like when you see this stuff, you like, man, is it, is 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 the streets a lie? You know what I'm saying? Is this shit real? Or you know what I'm saying? You know what's going on? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man. So it's like it is 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 it's deep, man. When you see these guys, man, and they partial in one way, then you end up being another way. You know what I'm saying? Then you see some dudes the complete opposite. You see, I know some dudes that come up, they ain't really want no trouble. Then soon somebody got in their lane, they turn to mercenaries. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, man, it's a deep thing, man. So I just try to encourage you. I don't care if you're a young dude or old dude, nothing. Man, know yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Understand that at the end of the day, you came out that vagina by yourself. You go in that box by yourself. God gonna judge you one on one about your actions, about what you're doing, man. And just know, it's, it's just, just, just know yourself, man, because uh, it's real. What you just said earlier, though, Kurt, touch me. Mm -hmm. Is the streets a lie? You see what I'm saying? It's like, how do we get the young folks to understand that these rules only apply sometimes? They just not applying the whole time. Yeah, and, and anybody will switch. With that pressure on their back, and some folks will stay solid, but I mean, it's a it's a every man for himself. It's at like the playing end the Powerball. You got a better chance win the Powerball if they grab t ten or better dudes. You got a better chance win the Powerball than everybody holding up. Come on now, you know what I'm saying? And for real, like the streets done. Yep. You know what I'm saying? it's over. But at one time when I was even before they, I'm not even telling my time. My time start was the beginning process of killing the streets. Yeah, because like I told you earlier. The crack induced dudes to the streets that really wasn't hustlers. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The streets always have all. It's like the it's like the beltway. It's, yeah. Everybody got their lane. Yeah. You had dudes that hustle. You yeah. had dudes that rob. You had dudes that pickpocket. You had dudes that pan whatever they did. Yeah. Credit card, what they call the swiping now. Yeah. But what happened was when the crack came, everybody started getting into the crack lane, the mm. hustling lane. So now all the philosophy of the streets and the principles got jumbled up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was running errands to this for the store for the young dudes. Like, I, like when they say ain't no ain't no honor amongst thieves, it used to be honor amongst thieves. Mm. It used to be. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like it changed when that crack hit on up. Cause now you got you got dudes that's locked up that ain't never did them but snatch a pop and rob something. I ain't beating them up. I'm just saying now they here. You made that much money and all you did was cook it up and stay in your building. You ain't had to go do nothing. So everybody started getting the game and then that, and then it just it went on. So now you, them those the uh, the uh, the alumni from that era. They tore it down, taught the behavior, you know what I'm saying? Tell yeah. the young dude, he don't you, you go around and burn his ass up and kill him. You don't kill nobody. If you get somebody some drugs, then this is my philosophy, this is how I was taught. Yeah. If you front to do some drugs, I don't care how much it is. Yeah. Don't never get nobody nothing you can't stand to lose. You know what I'm saying? And I always taught that a dead man can't pay. Come on now. You know what I'm saying? So if a dude, a hustler, and he fucked up a half a joint and you fronted it to him, he ain't come and take it. He ain't come and steal out your stag. You fronted to him, and he a hell of a hustler. Get him that opportunity to, in, in, to make the money back. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You kill him, ain't no money come from a damn man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So it's different bylaws that was taught to me that I that I studied in practice and tried to pass it down. But again, once the game start, when the game started getting cluttered, mm. the philosophy started getting start getting jumbled up. You know what I'm saying? He used exactly. To be, a dude couldn't just tell. And come home like dude can tell now and just come home and start, and start going hard, yeah. <laughs> putting on the hood and wearing black. They said, "Man, shorty luncheon." Yeah, and you couldn't do that back then. It would have been a community effort to burn your ass up because exactly. you are you are a threat to everybody that's breaking law. Yeah. So, but that changed because the the game got infiltrated with a lot of different mindsets. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly.